Welcome to EVTV for Wednesday, May 15th, 2019. We are technically in our post season since you saw the final episode yesterday, but we still have a lot of important information that we need the students to know about, mm -hmm. starting with the seniors. And by the, way, and by the way, my name is Ashanti because he didn't let me say it. Everybody knows the diva. Now, senior information, exams and deadlines are as follows. Ashanti, take it away. Okay, Wednesday are third and fourth block exams. Thursday are first and second block exams. Also Thursday, senior grades are due by one o'clock p.m. and Friday are makeup exams. When is graduation practice, Ashanti? Friday, May 24th at 1 p.m. at the Lander Center. And then for anyone who would like to see graduation, when is that? Sunday, May 26th at 3 o'clock p.m. at the Lander Center. All teachers are required to attend. That's right, and it's Memorial Day weekend, so keep that in mind, okay? That Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, we need you to stay in town so that you can go and cheer all the seniors on. Congrats, seniors. That's right. Now, <clears throat> freshmen, listen up. Okay, we're about to hit you with a lot of information and we need you paying attention. So once again, freshmen, pay attention. Here we go. Regular exams for 9th through 11th grade are as follows. Monday, May 20th, will be first and second block exams during the normal first and second block class times. Right, Ashanti? Right. So that means when you get here for first block at 7.25 in the morning, that's when your exam for first block is going to be. And then second block, which is 9.35 in the morning, that is when your second block exam will be. On May 20th, that is Monday, May 20th. When are the next set of exams, Ashanti? Okay, Tuesday, May 21st are third block exams and fourth block exams. And school dismissal is 11.45 a.m. Right, because those are gonna be 60% days. So you'll be taking those exams during that first and second block times. Yeah, now, um... Wednesday are makeup exams, the 22nd. Yes, Wednesday will be makeup exams. Students, you may be exempt from the end of the year final exams for full credit and half credit courses if the following criteria are met. So once again, freshmen, pay attention. The student has an 85 or above semester average in the course. The student has not missed more than two days, excused or unexcused, prior to the designated for the final exams for the full credit courses, and you can only miss one day for the nine weeks courses. Okay, two days for semester long classes, one day for those nine week classes, and you haven't been assigned to ALC for more than five days or DCAC at any time during the semester. Those will both forfeit your right for the exemption of the final. Or if you've been suspended. Yes, now, Checkouts on exam days. Pay attention because we want to minimize interruptions during the exam. Students will not be allowed to check out uh, by note or email during the testing period. If a student needs to leave during the testing period itself, his or her parent or guardian will have to physically check them out in person. If a student checks out, they must leave campus immediately. However, students, pay attention freshmen, students will be allowed to check out with a note during the school day between those exams. And uh, you'll need to bring the proper checkout note. It must have a phone number where the parent can be reached for verification. That means the school is going to call the note to see if your mommy actually wrote it or not. Right, Ashanti? Right. And they will actually check that, so don't forge the note. If a student wants to check out with the parent note on May 20th, 21st, or 22nd, Miss Sharp must receive that note no later than this Thursday. That would be tomorrow. So you don't have a lot of time. You don't have a lot of time at all. If a student turns in a checkout note after this deadline, we cannot guarantee that the checkout note will be verified. Hey, do we have any birthdays? Caleb, would you check the birthday calendar for us? We'll just play some music right now. <laughs> while we wait. Why are you trying to sound nice? 15. The 15th. I'm sorry, we're playing the music. We don't need it hummed. Happy birthday to Emily Barreto. Jada Broughton. 
Beyonce Brown, Christopher Jenkins Jr., Jason Miles, Malik Thorns, and Kalani Washington. Happy birthday, twin. Happy birthday. It's now time for today's announcements. We're moving fast and we're starting off with some really great school news. Ashanti, congratulate them. Congratulations to Kevion Beavers, Jada Bryan, Ariel Conley, Joseph Mullins, and Alexa Alexis Richardson. These senior choir members officially signed their vocal scholarships yesterday morning. Their vocal scholarships total $200,000 over the next four years. Congratulations again, guys. Congratulations. Also, Ashanti wanted everybody to know that she was the uh, anchor of the year and recently received a thank, letter. Thank you. A letter Aww. from our superintendent, and she was really pumped about that. We're going to insert pictures of that too. Diva. Seniors, all textbooks and library books must be returned or paid for by May 16th in order to be able to pick up your cap and gown. That's Thursday, by the way. Drop off your books or finds directly to Miss Lindsay in the library today or tomorrow, excuse me, today or tomorrow in the morning before school, during your lunch time or during your passing time. Students, this is for everybody else. Pay attention, freshmen. All textbooks and library books must be turned in or pay, uh, paid for or turned in by May 22nd in order to get your report card and your class schedule next year. Drop off any overdue books to Miss Lindsay in the library as soon as possible. We have lots of video content you don't get to see here on the show. Head to hornlakehigh.com and click on the subscribe link to get full access to our YouTube library. Take that part. You can also check us out on Twitter or Snapchat. I'm sure each and every one of you can find that information if you really want to. That's it for today's episode. Here at Horn Lake, we're better, better students, always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch meals and athletic schedules. We'll be back tomorrow for one more little postseason episode. Just to one remind you of all of this more. one more time. Have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic day. Have a better day.